I dare you to leave. I dare you to leave the past in the past, leave the unnecessary baggage behind, and to leave negative people in the dust. Hey winner, I'm Gabe Cox of Red Hot Mindset and I'm glad you're here. My mission is to help you overcome your mental barriers in the race of life and I make new videos every Wednesday about success mindset, dreaming huge, and crushing goals. Last week, I dared you to quit. I dared you to quit procrastinating, making excuses, and letting others dictate your life. Evaluating those negative influences in your life is just as important as taking inventory of the positives that you need to add to it. Honestly, I don't really want you to leave either. In fact, these next few weeks, I'm taking you on a journey to crush your goals. And in order to set yourself up for success, we need to talk about the things you need to leave behind before you start. That's what we're talking about today. This week, I dare you to leave three things behind. Number one, I dare you to leave the past in the past. Number two, I dare you to leave the unnecessary baggage behind. And number three, I dare you to leave negative people in the dust. Number one, I dare you to leave the past in the past. I want you to quit looking at your past to determine your future. You can't change it, so why dwell on it? I know it's harder to do than it is to say, but successful people learn from their past and use it to propel themselves forward. They choose not to stay in the past or to wallow in the what ifs. They take the past and the life lessons they learned and they use them as launching pads to their future successes. Did you know that dwelling on the past can keep us from our promised land? The Israelites wandered the wilderness for 40 stinking years because they were stuck in their past. And that trip should have only taken them about 40 days to make. They began looking back at their time as Egyptian slaves and they began to justify the brutal life they survived. They started seeing their old life through rose-colored glasses rather than remembering the reality of their slavery. The Israelites' minds tricked them to remember the past as more pleasurable than it was rather than to take their responsibility for their future and to step into God's call and promises for their lives. Sometimes it's easier to be stuck in the past than to have to face our futures. Our past doesn't have to dictate our future though. Choose to learn from it. Don't forget where you came from, but don't stay there either. Step into today and your future knowing that the facts or your circumstances can change. Don't wander in the wilderness for 40 years when your promised land may only be 40 days away. The past can't change, but you can change your future. Number two, I dare you to leave the unnecessary baggage behind. Don't take that baggage of all the past along with you on your journey to the future. It will only drag you down. Have you ever traveled with someone who thought she needed to pack her entire bathroom and closet? She's slow and weighed down by her luggage. It's hard for her to get on the airplane or into the shuttle, and she's stuck carrying multiple bags over her shoulders because she thought she needed all that stuff. When you're traveling with someone like that, it's annoying to have to wait for her to check her luggage in or to wait for it at the baggage carousel to make sure we have it all. It makes the trip longer and more tiring. You begin to get annoyed by their luggage that they are dragging with them. And it becomes a barrier to a quick and easy journey to your destination. You can see that, but she can't. We need to carefully select what we will bring with us on our journey. Determine if what you choose to bring will be a hindrance or a resource for you. If it's a hindrance, if it keeps you feeling unworthy or stuck, leave it behind. Ask yourself a few questions to determine where your baggage is stemming from. What baggage are you trying to drag with you? What's weighing you down? What's reminding you of your past failures or circumstances? What is holding you back? Choose to get rid of the past regrets or the painful memories. It's time to clear out the physical and emotional baggage so you can move on intentionally. The baggage of the past holds us captive from our future. Number three, I dare you to leave negative people in the dust. Quit allowing negative friends or family or coworkers to influence your life. Last week, we talked a little bit about this, about not letting others dictate your life. I encourage you to take inventory of the influences that each coworker or friend or family member has in your life, and if they are having a positive or a negative effect. Pretend you and a friend are standing, you on a chair and your friend on the floor. 
You're working to pull your friend up onto the chair with you, but your friend is trying to pull you onto the floor with her. Who do you think will win? <laughs> your friend, of course, because it's easier to pull someone down than it is to pull them up. Your association matters more than you know. You need to quit allowing friends, family members, or coworkers to influence your life if they're having a negative impact. You may need to brush them aside for a season or for good if they're not willing to change. Maybe you can't completely eliminate them from your life, especially if you live with them, but you can consider spending less time with them. Choose to be intentional with whom you say yes to spending time with and ensure that time will be constructive. Negative people, even if they're good friends or family, maybe especially if they're good friends or family, are toxic to your goals and to your life. Fill those gaps with those who encourage and support you, who offer you a positive perspective, and who make you feel better after you have been with them. Slowly lessen your time with the negative people and add time with the positive. Today's quote comes from therapist Daphne Rose Kingma, and she says, holding on is believing that there's a past. Letting go is knowing that there's a future. I dare you to leave. I dare you to leave the past in the past. Leave the unnecessary baggage behind and to leave negative people in the dust. In order to move forward and crush your goals, you need to be willing to let go of the past and anything or anyone dragging you down. Did you know that we have a free online community available for you? If you're not a part of it already, this is the perfect place to start for that support and encouragement as you work toward your New Year's resolutions and goals. I'll link that below in the description so you can check it out. Otherwise, are you already ready for a more specified game plan and coaching? My Take Your Dreams to the Finish Line coaching program may be for you. Head on over to www.redhotmindset.com forward slash courses to learn more. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up so I know to create more content like it in the future. Don't forget to light up that subscribe button, share this video with others, and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's video. Dream huge, and remember, you are a winner, just run your race.